Well, well, well. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on, sorry about that. I'm trying to. Hopefully, you can hear me over the reefer because I need a bait. So, excuse me, sorry. All right. I'm back. I, I never really left. I just left YouTube for a little while. Um, I was super frustrated. My last two weeks of um, TNT. But I did upgrade. I'm in my own truck. I got a 2018 Freightliner. Um, it runs good, solid. Um, it's like a dark gray silver color which is kind of funny because when I first uh, went to Prime during orientation I saw one of these colors and like okay I want one of those and luckily I got one of these so that's kind of cool um, but let me tell you a little story about um, my last two weeks of um, TNT so I got up to 50,000 miles rolling through Springfield we had a load going to Michigan and my trainer wanted to stop in Springfield he had to get some stuff checked on his truck so we ended up spending the night in Springfield we had plenty of time to get to Michigan and uh, I was at 50,000. I was actually a little over 50,000. And uh, I wanted to try an upgrade since I was already in Springfield. And my fleet manager wasn't having it for whatever reasons. I'm not going to say the person's name, but um, he seemed to not care for me for whatever reason. I never really talked back to him or anything. I just would ask him questions and. I guess he didn't like people asking him questions. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, so he went to Michigan. And then by the time he wanted me to come back to Springfield, I was going to miss my home time. Um, so I said, F it. Let's just uh, stay on your, um, my trainer's truck until my home time. And then I'll just go to Salt Lake. So I made some phone calls to Salt Lake and... Um, my dispatcher was trying to tell me you can't do that so I made some phone calls to Salt Lake and um, the head guys up in Salt Lake were like yeah you can do that it's not a big deal so whatever anyways um, but everything worked out the last two and a half weeks though of TNT I was stressed I was stressed um, and then obviously right when I come to home time this whole virus thing started going crazy so um, everybody out there just be safe wash your hands um, if you can get a hold of some Santa hand sanitizer get some you know what I mean but uh, I'm not a big fan of the whole virus thing I mean it's it's, it's the flu is basically what it is with the respiratory thing and it, and it really only affects you know the older generation which I feel bad for but there's no need to have this mass panic that everyone has right now so I got asthma and I'm not all freaked out you know I just wash my hands and don't touch things you don't need to touch you know I was one person that used to do it I'm not gonna lie go to the store and while I'm waiting in line I'll grab something and look at it and now I just don't do it if I don't need to touch it don't touch it you know if you can open the door by pushing it with your foot or opening it with your leg or whatever, do that. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but anyways, um, I've done two loads. Let's see. My first load I did was um, like 10 miles. I was in Salt Lake and a delivery was from the yard to this, um, to this receiver. And it was only like 10 or 15 miles away. It wasn't that far. Um, and then I immediately got a load after that up in Idaho. So I just deadheaded Idaho. It was only um, four hours. It wasn't too bad. Um, picked up a Shabani. Shabani, I guess that is. It's um, yogurt. Took that down to Southern California, out to Riverside. 
Uh, I was hoping it'd be a little bit closer to my house so that way I could spend the night with my kids, but eh, no big deal. So I uh, did that and immediately got another load from Victorville, which is only about an hour away from uh, Riverside. Picked that up and it's delivering to uh, St. George, Utah. And I already have a pre-planned load going from Fillmore, Utah to somewhere in Washington. I can't remember exactly where in Washington, but somewhere in Washington State. So um, I really like this uh, dispatcher I got. Uh, he seems really cool. He's stacking the loads up, which is uh, something I'm not used to. Uh, we didn't really do that when I was in TNT, which I like this better because I already know I have another job after this one. So that's uh, really cool to do. So I like the whole stacking of jobs. Um, and I'm getting miles in so um, so far with uh, three loads I'm at around I don't know 1500 miles so into uh, being on my own so that's cool uh, big shout out to my trainer Fernando um, thank you for everything um, and thanks for answering my phone calls now when I still have a couple questions. So I appreciate that. Um, don't have anything bad to say about the guy. I think the guy was a great guy. Uh, first couple days in the truck, it's kind of quiet without him. So he had some great stories. We had some good laughs. Uh, we had some real good laughs so hard that I was crying. <laughs> some of the stories he's got with some of the older, uh, um, TNT uh, trainees that he had. Oh my goodness. I'll have to tell you some of those stories later. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick update. Let you guys know where I'm at. For all my subscribers that have been there from the beginning, thank you. For all my new subscribers, thank you. Um, and I do apologize, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for, for being gone for so long. Um, I was just... I, I wasn't over it. I was just over the drama. I'm not a drama type of guy and it was just too much drama and I didn't want to get on here and say anything bad about anybody because I know I would have so I just uh, I just shut it down I didn't even watch any YouTube videos I didn't even comment nothing I just shut YouTube down so but I'm in a good head again um, things are going well so uh, we'll get through this whole virus thing um, and everything will be good you know what I'm saying um, the only good, I, I don't want to say anything good is coming out of this virus, but the only good thing about this virus is people now are um, respecting the uh, truck drivers um, and everything we do for, for the country. So um, I've seen a couple of cool things on Instagram and Facebook about helping truck drivers out that can't get into like a McDonald's or something because they should shut them down and we can't go through the drive-thru, obviously, so I've heard some good things, like stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a good one. Later.